Welcome to Conservation Conversations. I'm Carrie Large, Executive Director of Friends of Rosemont Gifford Zoo, and we have a special guest here today. Ira St. Moran, co-host of Bridge Street on News Channel 9. One time I was on Bridge Street and we were just chatting. Yeah. And you told me about something that you were involved with. I was a part of this teen intern program in the city of Boston at the New England Aquarium. It was a summer job, but I continued it every summer through my high school career. Started off in the gift shop. That wasn't a good fit for me. And then went into the education department, which was really cool because we got to learn about the animals. And then one of my favorite jobs was giving talks at the top of the giant ocean tank. I I considered going into marine biology, but baby Iris has always wanted to be Oprah and Adele Iris still wants to be Oprah. So for me, talking at the top of the giant ocean tank was like giving a news report about fish because I had to do the research. I had to write my speech and then I had to present it to the public, sometimes a crowd of about 300 or so. Wow. For a 15, 16 yeah. year old. I still get nervous about that now. Yeah. What are you talking about? <laughs> and then we had to answer questions yeah. about the exhibit. So it was just a really good experience for me. Yeah. So what are like the top things that you learned as you were doing this position when you were that young? I got better at public speaking. You know, I learned um, about an area that I probably would not have explored had it not been mm -hmm. for this program. The part that I loved when we were talking is what you got from it in knowing about our planet. I am obsessed with recycling. Because of this job, I had to inform the public at the, at the top of the giant ocean tank just the damages to our environment and ecosystem with plastic. Mm -hmm. And so as a teenager, learning just the harm that we can do to our environment and, and, and why life has stuck with me. If you're going out, whether it's to hike uh, in one of our parks here or even just on the beach, just, you know, be responsible for what you bring in. So carry in, carry out, carry large. Oh, hey, how you doing? <laughs> I like that. That's a hey, new girl. slogan. Yes, <laughs> love that. Yeah. Often, uh, a lot of the team members have their favorite animal. Did you have one when you were working? I'll narrow it down to two. Kuza Macheche was an African pygmy hedgehog. Who would have thought hedgehog? <laughs> but my other favorite, and she's still there, Myrtle the turtle. We have like, Mortis the tortoise here, uh, so you gotta go visit once. Gotta check out Mortis. <laughs> Mortis yes. check out. So we have a wonderful program called Zoo Guides. The team members, we have an adult now with them that's mentoring a youth. They're mentoring each other because we're learning from the youth. Youth are learning from us, right? They have their zoo cart out there and they're educating the, the community. I want to make sure that you know you give them some parting words like what would you tell our zoo guides no matter what you want to do in life whether it's zoo related or something else just have fun enjoy the moment and i made lasting friendships it's all about building relationships Absolutely. so that we make an impact on our planet you know definitely check out our website if you're interested in being coming as you guys make an effort to recycle plastic film and reuse try not to drink out of plastic bottles. Just inspire every single day. Make sure that you're doing something that impacts the planet because if you're not recycling, that impacts the animals that live here, the wildlife, and it impacts all of us too. So take it from Myers, do your part and be conservation minded. And thank you for joining us again for Conservation Conversations.